hello and welcome to the first official video of the channel for experiment doll today we will be making a custom doll the daughter of the grinch she is missing an arm today but don't worry we'll fix that later she used to be my kind of spare doll so we're just gonna give her a full makeover since, as you can see, her makeup's already been removed, we're going to move on to her hair. I don't know why I gave her this haircut in the first place, but we're just going to take all of this off with some scissors and then remove the head and scrape the remaining hair out with a tweezer. And I'm also using tweezers and uh, a flathead screwdriver to scrape off the flocking and some nail polish remover or pure acetone to get the rest off. Once she's been fully cleaned, I paint the scalp in a color that's going to match her future hair. And with a different color acrylic paint, you can also use a marker. I'm marking where her parts are going to be. After about three layers of Mr. Super Clear, I sketch a few details with my watercolor pencils and then begin painting the eyes. I'm painting the yellow of the sclera. And it should be noted that this doll is inspired by the Jim Carrey Grinch, as well as obviously the traditional Grinch. But I am very heavily inspired by Doll Mill's version of the Grinch. Now I'm bringing in some red acrylic paint to paint on her lips and because she is inspired by the Jim Carrey Grinch and some Doll Mill Grinch, she is the daughter of the Grinch and Martha May because why not? And here I am mixing up some green and brown to paint her thick eyebrows. Also using that same green to paint the signature Who Knows. And a little beauty mark because you know what she is a beauty switching back to my watercolor pencils I'm using a blue to sketch in the iris and then just filling that in with a blue acrylic paint Now, I wanted to give her some red and white candy cane like makeup, but I didn't want it to be too holiday ish because I do want this doll displayed year round. So I think red and white works pretty well because red is such a contrast to green. It is the actual complement of green, so it works very well. And then obviously, I'm just painting in the red and white and perfecting some detail. And for a little flare, I painted some gold acrylic paint under the eyes. I should note that for some reason whenever I paint with red acrylic paint on the lips it ends up bleeding so I highly recommend trying to do whatever you can like maybe just use a watercolor pencil instead for lips for reds because it just ends up bleeding on the doll and staining it and it sucks. <laughs> Here I am with my black watercolor pencil sketching in the eyeliner and the eyelashes. After I sketch that in, I end up going over it with some black acrylic paint. And as you can tell, I added a little bit of light blue for some kind of shines highlight difference in the eyes. Then bringing that watercolor pencil back, I'm going to sketch in the pupils and again fill them in with black acrylic paint. Now I'm just adding a few finishing details like using a watercolor pencil to add some fluff to her eyebrows and obviously going to add her eye shines.
Now that our beautiful beast is done, it's time to start on the reroute. You can always do the reroute before the repaint. In fact, it's recommended. I just kind of do whatever. And I'm using this Barbie hair guacamole from dollyhair.com and a rerouting tool. And I'm just going to go around her head and then plug her the center of her head. I can't really explain what I'm doing, but I plug around and then I plug inside and then I save the part for last. I'm gesturing to the part because I was going to root the part after I rooted around her hair, but then I decided it was just easier to root inside and then root the part last. Once everything is rooted, I go in with my tacky glue just to secure everything in place, squish it around a little bit, use a q-tip if you need to to just make sure you get all those hair pieces covered. And you can see a little discrepancy here. I was going to have her hair braided and then put in a bun as well, but then I ended up deciding that it just did not work. And here I am with my Sculpey Satin Gloss Glaze and I'm going to gloss the eyes, lips, and nose. Now, I personally like my dolls to look like they are from a factory, like they're factory made. Uh, some artists might just gloss the eyes themselves and the lips and the nose. I like to gloss every area that I paint because it makes it look like it's printed on. It kind of, it adds a weird professionalism to it, in my opinion. I use some patterns that I purchased from DG Requiem on Etsy. The top is going to be made from the school uniform pattern and the skirt from the Lolita pattern. The links to the patterns will be in the description below. I highly recommend their patterns. They're great, easy to follow, love them. Her shoes are a repainted uh, Mirror Beach Apple White shoes, I'm pretty sure. I repainted them to look like candy canes and all the Christmassy stuff. And then we have this reversible belt because I want this outfit to double for my Jacqueline Skellington doll. So we have a cool spider pattern on one side and then a simple black pattern on the other. It's not really a pattern, it's black, is it? it's just plain. Her hand arrives and now we can officially put her together. Yes! And time to add the finishing piece, which is the head. I gotta add the head back onto the body. Always so exciting. Always goes different each time. A lot of the time the head pops over the neck and looks funky. And it's, it's always kind of funny. And always a struggle, as you can see. <laughs> Short neck. And she's done. Here's some amazing Christmas photos that I took or at least tried to take. I'm not the best at taking photos of my dolls. I'm not gonna even try and lie about it, but she was still so much fun to make and I love her so much. And her name is gonna be Holly, like holiday or holiday, however you wanna say it, but also like Holly, like the, the flower. So I think it doubles, but she's on her way to steal your Christmas.
thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back.